Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up and deploy the new Qcoin Futures grid bot. And by the end of the video, I will be deploying that grid bot to live fire action. In addition to, I will do a follow up video on the performance of this particular grid bot. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. Now, before we get too far into the weeds, I do want to stress that trading crypto futures is extremely risky. And if you're new to crypto trading in general, I don't recommend you start out trading futures. And with that being said, Qcoin actually has a grid bot that will do spot trading. And it's far less risky as it does not involve margin, leverage or liquidation of your account. And if you're not familiar with those terms, I will touch on them briefly, but I do recommend you do a lot more recon if you're new to futures trading. Uh, initial margin is essentially going to be the initial amount invested in order to open the position. It's the amount of money you're bringing and placing at risk in this particular trade. Leverage allows you to essentially increase your positions by borrowing funds provided by a third party like in this case the exchange being Qcoin. So by borrowing you're multiplying the size of the actual position you'll be trading. And on the Qcoin futures grid bot currently I think the max is 5x so five times the amount of your initial margin. And then the term you certainly want to try to avoid is liquidation and that basically happens when your margin balance declines below the required maintenance margin. Now maintenance margin is the amount of margin you have which will include any profit or loss and once your balance goes below that amount your position will be liquidated and you will incur a loss obviously. Now, before we jump into configuring the actual bot, if you're not familiar with what a grid bot does, it is actually looking to buy the dips and sell the rips. Now, in a futures grid bot, you have a choice to either go long or short. And if you're going long, what you're looking for, again, is to buy on the way down and sell for profit on the way up. If you're going short, you are essentially looking for the price to decline. Therefore, you are looking to sell for profit on the way down. Now, each grid is considered an open buy or sell limit order. And so each time the price action crosses one of those grid lines or hits one of the limit orders, the buy or sell order will be placed on your behalf and you will either be buying or selling a set amount of that specific security that you're trading. So that's enough jaw jacking. So let's get to configuring this Qcoin futures grid bot. And unfortunately, the bot is only available on an app on your phone. And so you will need to download that app to your mobile device. And with that being said, I need to connect my phone so you can actually see what I'm doing in the configuration. So I'll be right back. All right, so now I have the phone connected to the computer so you guys can see what I'm doing. So to start, I need to click on trading bot, which is the icon down here that says hot. And then you'll find the classic grid bot, which I've done videos on in the past. You can find in my playlist, the DCA or the futures grid bot, which is their new grid bot. Now, I will say that unfortunately you will need an invitation to trade on the future grid bot platform currently so when you first click on the futures grid you're going to get a message to input a code and they'll give you some steps to go get that code like joining the telegram group and what have you after you have inputted your invitation code you will end up on the future grids configuration page and they do offer a very brief description of how the grid bot will work and after you've read that brief description, you click create. And then by default, they give you an AI parameters, which basically is just their parameters for deploying a bot. Today, I will be customizing the bot based on my parameters. And today's bot, I want to be a long only essentially bot. And so with that, it will be looking to buy the dips and sell the rip up for profit. And then my price range, which will basically be my lower limit and my upper limit of the actual grid itself. 
I typically make that determination based on the chart of the security that I'll actually be trading. And in this case, I'll be trading BTC USDT perpetual contracts. And so what I look for on the chart is prior resistance for my upper level and prior support for my lower level. And I can see prior support around the 57.5 range and prior resistance around the 65,000 range. So that is where I'm going to approximately set my lower and my upper levels for this particular grid bot. So for my lower level, I was looking at that 57.5. And then on the upper side, I want to give the bot enough room to maneuver so that it's trading within a range. And so I'll set my upper level at 66.9. And then the number of orders placed, which is essentially the grid, I'm going to put in 49 and then it tells me the max I can do is actually 35 grids. And so then it calculates the profit per grid will be around 0.56% to 0.69%. And that's also based on the fact that my leverage is 2x. So I can actually change that leverage to say 4X and my risk goes from low risk to medium risk by jumping up to 4X. And so I click confirm and now you can see my profit per grid has actually increased to 1.13% to 1.38% essentially twice as much because I doubled my leverage and then my Initial investment or margin is going to be, let's say $500. And it will tell me that my initial investment amount needs to be 560. So I'll make that correction. We'll just go 570 to make sure we have enough available. And then once I have my investment margin set in, it will tell me an estimated liquidation price. Again, because I'm going long, the price would have to drop down to around 46,000 USDT for my position to get liquidated with the amount of leverage I have put on. Now, I personally want my stop loss somewhere above this number because I don't want my position to be liquidated. So I will set my stop loss target at 49,000. And in all probability, that should prevent my position from being liquidated. So to quickly recap, I have selected the customize option for my futures grid bot. The pair I have selected is BTC Perpetual USDT. And you can see they have ETH, ADA, Luna, XRP. But today we're going to go with BTC USDT. I have selected long for the strategy of the bot. My leverage is set at 4x. My price range is from 57.5 to 66.9. And again, that was based on the Bitcoin chart. Number of placed orders will be 35. The profit per grid after my fee, which is already included, should be around 1.3% to 1.38%. My initial margin or investment will be $570. That's what is at risk of being liquidated. And then it does show the estimated liquidation price of 46,000. And my stop price is set at 49,000 in an attempt to keep from being liquidated. And with all those settings in place, this bot is ready to be deployed to live fire action. So we click on create long. And before you deploy the bot, it gives you a risk alert. Please note that future bots are operated in future market and there exist liquidation risks and click got it and so a quick recap of my order is i'm deploying 570 usdt the trading pair will be btc perpetual usdt long strategy with 4x leverage the price range is 57.5 to 66.9 total orders will be 35 profits per grid after fees will be 1.13% to 1.38%. You can see the trading fee is 0.06%. The estimated liquidation price is around 46,000. I have a stop loss set at 49,000. And then it does let me know to execute future grids, the bot will open a long position of 18 lots at the optimal price. 
I click confirm. And it's basically transferring funds from my trading account to my futures account. Now the bot is live and active, so that pretty much wraps it up. I will be doing an update video in the near future, so now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down in the comment section down below. And in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.